Hello, you lovely people. Hope you're having a good weekend, because I am. Right, yesterday I went for a mountain bike uh, mountain bike ride, and I was in uh, in the city, the city of Bristol, actually, and I was cycling up towards uh, Clifton and uh, approaching a crossing uh, at speed, I guess, and on a bit of an incline. And I carried on going across this crossing as there was a couple with a little baby in their pram waiting to cross the road. And as I proceeded across the crossing, the chap shouts, you're supposed to stop. You know, aren't cyclists supposed to stop? Something like that anyway. And I knew he was wrong because I've just been on gov.uk and rules for pedestrians, 1 to 35. I shall put a link in the descriptions below. Um, I'd just like to point out that I'm not always right, but I knew I was right on this occasion. Right, so crossings 18 to 30. 18. All crossings when using any type of crossing, you should always check that the traffic has stopped before you start to cross or push a pram onto a crossing, okay? Uh, always cross between the studs or over the zebra markings. Do not cross at the side of the crossing or on the zigzag lines as it can be dangerous, okay? You must not loiter on any type of crossing. It's got all the laws. You can go on to uh, the other sites with laws and stuff regarding that a bit more in depth. Um... Give, give traffic plenty of time to see you and stop before you start to cross. Vehicles will need more time when the road is slippery. Wait until traffic, yada, 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 yada. But basically, if someone has... It's different when they have actually moved onto the crossing, okay? If they've actually placed a foot into the road on the crossing, you must stop, okay? Uh, which this this couple had not. Um, not that I was being funny or an asshole or anything. I was just moving along, okay? Now... You should also use your own, you know, knowledge, uh, awareness, because um, you wouldn't really want to be walking out in front of a speeding car because always, or because it's a crossing, or you know, there's lights, Pelican lights, or whatever, traffic lights, Pelican crossing, sorry, uh, and then puffing crossings. There's various different sorts of crossings. Go on gov.uk and you'll like find out about these yourself. Uh, assume that traffic is always going to be moving at the speed limit. Or, going to be stopping for you, okay? Also on uh, green lights, on crossings, on, let me see, traffic lights. Or because the light goes green for you to go, if somebody's still walking across the road, you have to wait till they're safe to the other side, okay? And then staggered crossings, or rather um, zebra crossings with a central island. These are two separate crossings. So, uh, or because traffic stopped on one side. Um, it doesn't mean you have necessarily have to stop on the other side. Unless someone, again, has got their foot on the actual crossing, okay? So, just highlighting the fact that these people were wrong. I could have been wrong in this instant, but I knew I was right on this, on um, crossing because I was only talking about it at work the other day. So, the, you know, there's a lot to the highway code and stuff and how many of us always actually really pay attention to to all these laws and stuff we just drive <laughs> drive the best we can i suppose, suppose some worse than others but i'll put like links in the description below or something in this case pedaling rule was right rules for pedestrians you were wrong i was right uh again people sometimes pretty much don't have to say anything it's the city things happen um just carry on your own business you know and uh, get to where you want to go safely i suppose so thanks for watching So, before you go shooting your mouth off, learn the rules.